This is a flying cow production. Sup, losers? This is Movie Battles. You know, Disney, Pixar, movie trivia. It's awesome. You're here to see me. And, uh, oh, yeah, Vicky Green's here, too. Say hello to the people, Vicky. Um, hello, people, Vicky. Um, yeah, it's victorious. Again, this is the third match we've done together, and I... I, it's just not going to happen. I, how are you, Hammer? I, I am amazing, as always. Uh, you know, just being me. You know, Brennan, sometimes I feel bad that people like you don't know what it feels like to be me. It just, I feel really bad about that. I don't feel bad about that. Um, I never want to feel like what it is to be you. So wow. um, we have a match today. Glorying in your suffering. I, I, uh, good 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 on you yeah so yeah welcome to movie battles uh the very best of disney and pixar trivia uh we do have an exciting matchup uh for you folks today where we've got jeremy the adam adams versus battling brandon rutledge and these yeah two, yeah uh, actually actually uh vicky uh change of plans okay change of plans because uh like you said today's match was supposed to be Jeremy the Adam Adams versus battling Brandon Rutledge. I was really looking forward to this match. Unfortunately, Brandon was not able to make it today. Uh, so we've had to, uh, you know, change things up a little bit. Obviously, very excited about Jeremy playing. Really looking forward to having him part of movie battles. So, you know, we had to have a uh, an opponent for him. So, uh yeah. Well, I okay. I don't see anything in my notes that speak to a backup competitor or anything. I I didn't think we had anybody on the sidelines. So, uh, what are we doing for this? Well, I'm glad you asked, Vicky. Um, because today, playing in this tremendous match against Jeremy the Adam Adams is Vicky Green. You've got to be kidding me, right? No, I'm not. You're gonna play uh, him, Hammer. Remember, I, remember I'm, in the last match, after two people in a row that I picked to win lost, you were all excited. Well, I was excited for the winners. What? Yes, you're of gonna course. pay for that one. Well, here it is. Here it is, Vicky. I'm not even ready. I I don't even have the proper equipment to play a match. I haven't studied. You, uh, this is straight shenanigans. Hey, how many times do you have to remind you, Vicky? I'm in charge, okay? Yes. I'm the boss. I'm in charge. But when I signed on for this, I signed on to be on the desk. I didn't sign on to be playing. I know. It's pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> so, well, yeah. Uh, while you're, I guess, introducing Jeremy, I guess I better look for a whiteboard or something to write answers on. Jeez, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know what? Uh I guess, you know, I need somebody else in here. Uh, Sorsha, Sorsha, why don't you, you come on in? Wait a minute. Sorsha, did uh, you have anything to do with this? I did not. Um, what, why am I here? Uh, well, you know, you, you're here. You know, you're doing things behind the scenes. But since Vicky's mm -hmm. going to be playing, you're going to call the match. You're good with that, uh, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, uh, Vicky, since you're already here, um, this is your uh, your uh, introduction. You know, Burr, uh, making his debut, the loser, Vicky Green. Well, okay then. Um, How does it feel to lose, Vicky? Huh? I mean, we haven't even played, but I can go ahead and tell you the result. Yeah, uh, victorious is clearly going to have to be dropped off my name i guess i'm gonna have to go with vicky thanks a lot hammer you're welcome you're welcome well, this was laying around so i guess i better put this on for luck yeah so um 
Uh, as always, Vicky, it's uh, wonderful to talk to you, but uh, I think we should bring in your opponent. Yeah. What do you say? <laughs> All right. So let's bring in his opponent. Coming in today, handpicked by me, by the way, I brought this guy in, making his debut. His favorite films in the genre include Pinocchio, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and a goofy movie. He is Jeremy the Adam Adams. Jeremy, oh, how are we today, sir? I'm doing great. I'm really, really excited to be here. Thank you for bringing me on today. Um, yeah, some people might kind of know me around the trivia space. I, I've I've played in in a lot of different leagues, but to have my first match and specifically a Disney Pixar league means a lot to me. And I, I just really appreciate you guys having me. I just I don't know what what's going on here. There's like there's like some shenanigans or something going on, but I I'm just here to play, man. And it, you know whoever my opponent is, you know he's probably hopefully not going to have the best the best day. So whatever it is, I'm I'm here to play. Don't don't you worry jeremy <laughs> about what's going on you just focus on being great okay all right that's all i need from you all right so um let's go ahead and bring vicky back in here all right okay so we'll uh we'll go ahead and get this started with the reading of the rules from round number one all right, so uh, you guys know the rules. Round number one, you get eight questions. You got 15 seconds. Reveal your response. You get one point. If you get perfect round, you get a bonus. Woohoo! Uh, you know, you got your repeats. You got your challenges. No stealing, Vicky. All right? We good? We're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. All right, so let us go ahead and move forward into round number one, question number one in the category of early classics and classics. These are the films of the 30s through the 50s. And your question, which film is based on a fairy tale, tale by Char Charles Perrault and revolves around missing footwear? I'm glad you could get that one out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was it was good, right? Yeah, I uh, I, I, I do there. professional reading. Okay. So uh, yeah, I think we're about done in five, four, three, two, one. All right, uh, Vicky, your turn. I'm gonna guess Cinderella. Yes, very very good, Vicky. Very good. Cinderella is correct. Jeremy. Cinderella, Cinderella. Look at, he can even sing. Can you believe this guy? <laughs> wow. All right. Sorry, so, my answers are backwards too. I was not ready for this. All right. So, uh, going into we one and one, going into question, question number, two. number two, which I will be reading, yeah. is in the category of Renaissance, mostly the '90s. <clears throat> in the film, Mulan's grandmother gives her what for luck? your grandmother ever given you anything for luck there, Sorsha? Uh, a couple of You know things, what, actually, yeah. I don't care. Um, oh, well, I, then this could get real dark real fast. True. <laughs> In five, four, three, two, one. All right. Um, Jeremy, we are gonna start with you. I might be wrong, I said a fan. Fan is incorrect yeah. and Vernon. Took a wild shot, a necklace. Both of those answers are incorrect. We were looking for a cricket. Cricket. Oh, yeah. Amazing hopping that. insect. Yeah. It's all right there, Jeremy. It's all right. <laughs> Vicky, you suck. All right. <laughs> so going into question number three. Okay. Category of the dark times. These are the films of the 2000s. And the question, what actor singer provides the primary voice of Penny in Bolt? Uh, mm. you know, 
these these movies in this uh, these dark times thing. Uh, mm-hmm. not, let's let's just be honest. They're uh, they're not the best, not, but not they're not one the of worst. Them is any good? Um, but uh, you know, we still gotta ask about them because they were made in mm-hmm. five, four, three, two, and one. All right, Nikki Green. Wild Shot in the Dark, Michael Bolton. Ooh, that is incorrect. And uh, Jeremy. Uh, Hayden Pianetier as a child, but Miley Cyrus as the older version. (laughs) Miley Cyrus is correct. All right, so uh, Jeremy currently has a one-point lead going into question this match is the dark ages, dark times. Yeah. <laughs> Question number four is in the category of Pixar. <clears throat> what year saw the release of Toy Story 4? Toy Story 4. Man, four of those things. That's, mm-hmm. that, that's insane. I mean, how many, how, how many uh, Toy Story films do they, do they need? I mean... Ending you know, upon ending upon ending. Y- you know, why don't you go and take that up with the Pixar company? You know what? I will. I really, I, I, I will. I got a meeting with them tomorrow. So you do that. Five, Can you give us a countdown, please? Four, three, two, one. All right, Jeremy, we're gonna start with you. 2019. 2019 is correct, and Vernon. 2019. <clears throat> 2019 is correct. Vicky miraculously hanging in there, still down by one. Going into question number five uh, in the category of hybrid and Muppets. These are, of course, the films combination live action, animation, and Muppets. And your question Which hybrid film follows a young boy who raises a sheep with championship hopes? You ever uh, raise any livestock there, Sorsha? Can't say that's something that I've done. What no. about you? No. Uh, you know, I uh, actually, <laughs> I, no, no, never, never. No. Yeah. All right. So yeah. uh, we'll see what our comp- opponents have here in uh, five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. Oh, right at the buzzer there, but I'm going to give it to you, Vernon, because I was going to say I like you, but we all know that's a lie. But here we go. Uh, uh, uh. First one, your repeat in the category of hybrid and Muppets. Which hybrid film follows a young boy who raises a sheep with championship hopes? You, uh, I mean, of course... Jeremy, the Adam, has championship hopes. Uh, Vicky, nowhere close. Have you ever had championship hopes? I have. I have. No? I think we all have. Yeah. yeah, well, I don't have to have hopes. I have reality. Every mm-hmm. time Corman Movie Battles champion. That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, five, four, three, two. Vicky. I think this is a DreamWorks movie, but open season. That is incorrect. And uh, Jeremy. So dear to my heart. You are to me as well, Jeremy. Thank you. Thank All right. You. That is correct. Going into. So Jeremy currently opens up a two point lead on Vicky. It's um, only going to get worse. All right. Going into question number six. All right. <clears throat> Question number six is in the category of the decline and wilderness. These are the films of the 60s through to the 80s. In the Jungle Book, what does Mowgli use to scare away Shere Khan? Yeah. The jungle Book. Yeah. You know, um, what what would they have to use to scare you away, Sorcha? Ooh, I don't think I should tell you that information. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm always looking for weaknesses. Mm-hmm. And that's why I don't tell I, I, you. I what gotta my give heart. you that. That was smart. That was smart. 
Thank you. Yeah. Alright, Jeremy, we're gonna start with you, sir. Fire. Fire is correct, and Vernon. Fire. Fire is correct. Alright, so, uh, Vicky holding on here, only keeping Jeremy to a two point lead. Five to three. Going into everyone's favorite category, package films. <laughs> Short collections of the 40s. And your question Which film? now begins with the segment Blue Bayou in most recent releases. Package film. Changing up segments in there, you know. Oh, yeah. Got stuff going on. Do you like any of these package films there, Sorsha? I like one. You like, I like one. one. Don't like say what it is. Okay. Oh, it's not this one. <laughs> Bad. All right. So let's go into five. All right. And uh, the loser, Vicky. I don't even know if we can say this on camera. Song of the South. That is incorrect. No, that's not right. Uh, I Jeremy. didn't think so, but not fully confident, but saludos, amigos. That is also incorrect. We were looking for Make Mine Music. Oh, it was Make Mine Music. Look at it. Make Mine Music. All right. So, still only got a two-point lead going into the final question of this round. All right. <clears throat> Last question of the round is in the category of CG Revolution, the 2010s to present. In which film will you find the voice talents of Kelly Marie Tran, Gemma Chan, and Benedict Wong? Lots of names there. Lots, lots of names. Of, lot, lots of names. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I like some of these movies. Um, mm hmm you know, some are better than others, but uh, yeah. you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Five, two, three, two. Repeat the question. Okay. All right. I'll give you that repeat. one Keep there, Vicky. Right, right at the one. All right. And that is your second repeat. Mm -hmm. In which film will you find the voice talents of Kelly Marie Tran, Gemma Chan, and Benedict Wong. You know, I do what was the category? CG category, Revolution. CG Revolution, 2010s to the present. Disney. Movie battles. You know where you are, right, Vicky? Yeah, we're good. Still think this is the wrong film company, but I'm going to go for it. All right, Jeremy, we are going to start with you. Raya and the Last Dragon. Raya and the Last Dragon is correct. And Vernon? Yeah, I didn't get that. <laughs> All right. All right. So there at the end of round number one, Jeremy currently has a three point lead over Vicky Green. Going into round number two. All right. So here we go. We're going to bring up the rules for round number two. All right, going into round number two. You spin a wheel. You can do it twice if you want. Uh, opponent's choice, bad. You get four questions. You get two points. You go to multiple choice, you only get one point. You get 15 seconds. You get it wrong, your opponent can steal. Repeats, challenges, all of that. All that clear, Vicky? Clear as mud? Ab absolutely clear. I, this whole thing is absolutely clear after today. Yeah. All right. So um, we're going to go ahead. Jeremy, you are currently in the lead by three points. So uh, you get the choice. Would you like to spin first, or would you like to defer to uh, your lovely opponent? I'm curious about these questions. I'll go ahead and go first. All 
right, so I'm gonna bring up the wheel for Jeremy. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead. Can you give, can you see the wheel, Jeremy? I sure can. All right, I'm gonna give it a spin for you here. All right, and uh, spin it and spin it. We're looking for something good, something strong. Ooh, and we have landed on Directors. Uh, Jeremy, would you like to keep that or would you like to spin again? Uh, we'll keep gonna keep it all right so jeremy elects to keep directors hard category but obviously it's feeling strong what are you feeling vicky Shaking um i'm just ecstatic to be here hammer thank you thank you all right so we're gonna go into these questions in the category of directors and jeremy aren't you lucky I get to read these questions for you. All right, so here we go. Four questions in the category of directors. We'll start with the first one. Who directed Mary Poppins Returns? Rob Marshall. Rob Marshall is correct for two big old points right there. All right, going into question number two. What is the most recent Pixar film to be directed by Andrew Stanton? Finding Dory. Finding Dory is correct for another big two points. All right. Going into question number three in the category of directors. Wolfgang Reitherman. Solo directed four Disney animated films in a row. What was the fourth of those films? The Aristocats. Aristocats is incorrect. So, Vicky, you get the chance to steal, okay? Um, Wolfgang Reitherman solo directed four Disney animated films in a row. What was the fourth of those films? I'll go Sword in the Stone. Sword in the Stone is also incorrect. We were looking for Robin, Robin Hood. Hood. Robin Hood. Off by one. Yeah, just one off there, Jeremy. It's all right. You're still doing amazing here. Currently up by seven, ten to three. Going into the final question in this round. What is the most recent Disney animated film directed by Chris Buck and Jennifer Lee? Frozen 2. Frozen 2 is correct for a big two points so at the end of that round jeremy is currently up 12 to 3. all right and uh so now it's vicky's turn to spin you are enjoying this way too much i am i mm -hmm. am so much and look look at that vicky i uh i put your name on it for you Isn't that you nice? are you are horrible uh, thank you all right uh here's your spin all right, and obviously, uh, Vicky looking for package films or, oh, hybrid films. That's a good one for you, right, Vicky? Um, it's better than some on here, but I'm going to elect to spin again. And spin again. All right, and uh, we'll see um, what means of torture we, oh, CG revolution. All right, so Vicky, you have Four questions in the category of the CG Revolution. Of course, these are the films of the 2010s to the present. And um, Sorsha, you got these, right? So I, I, I got can take these. Mm -hmm. I just want to say, yeah, I don't I think that'd be better I, for everybody. I don't blame Jeremy for this at all. I I, I have no hard feelings to Jeremy why, about why what's happening. Blame Jeremy for every, for any, You're doing great. And he's awesome. <laughs> Sorsha. Okay, children. All right, Vernon, your quest, your first question in the category of CG revolution. Who provides the voice 
of Lieutenant Mattis, leader of the trapped soldiers in Frozen 2? That's an absolutely wonderful question to which I will need multiple choice for. All right, multiple choice it is. Is it A, <clears throat> Sterling K. Brown, B, Delroy Lindo, C, Anthony Mackey, or D, Lakeith Stanfield? Um, let's just go like I'm taking a high school exam. Let's go with C. C is incorrect. So, Jeremy, you now have the opportunity to steal. So I will read you the question and the choices again. Who provides the voice of Lieutenant Mattis, leader of the trapped soldiers in Frozen 2? Is it A, Sterling K. Brown, B, Delroy Lindo, C, Anthony Mackey, or D, Lakeith Stanfield? Uh, it is A. Sterling K. Brown is correct for one point. One point steal! That's not necessary. Get it. All right, calm yourself. All right, question number two for Vernon. In Ralph Breaks the Internet, who voices Double Dan, a half-worm virus creator who lives in the dark web? Uh, that's a wonderful question, of which I will also need multiple choice for. Multiple choice it is. Of course, I read that very poorly, and for that I apologize. You're fine. It would not is have changed it... the outcome. <laughs> is it A... Alan Tudyk, B, Alfred Molina, C, Nicholas Cage, or D, Benedict Cumberbatch? I didn't realize we were asking Marvel Universe questions. Uh, let's go with B. <laughs> B, Alfred Molina is correct for one point. So we are going to move on to question number three, your penultimate question. In the film, what animal does Moana save as a small child? Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Is it A, a pig, B, a crab, C, a sea turtle, or D, a chicken? I don't know why, but A sounds right. A, a pig is incorrect. So Jeremy, again, you have the opportunity to steal. So I'm gonna read this off to you real quick. In the film, what animal does Moana save as a small child? A, a pig, B, a crab, C, a sea turtle, or D, a chicken? Is it C, a sea turtle? C, a sea turtle is correct. Right. Would make sense. Would make sense. 14 to 4. So, just got to make this clear. If Vernon gets this correct, he's good. Vicky's going on to the third round. But if Jeremy steals, even on multiple choice, that's a knockout. Yeah, thanks a lot, Hammer. You're welcome. I got it. I know how the game works. Mm hmm. All right, Vernon, your last question in the category of CG Revolution. In Zootopia, what is the name of the sloth Judy and Nick encounter at the DMV? Multiple choice. All right, multiple choice it is. Is it A, Speedy? B, Lightning, C, Jolt, or D, Flash? B. B, Lightning is incorrect. Mm. So, Jeremy... You have the opportunity to steal. Come on, Jeremy, bring us home! Off. I'm gonna read it all off to you. Yeah. We're gonna block out the hammer. And here we go. In Zootopia, what is the name of the sloth Judy and Nick encounter at the DMV? 
A, speedy, B, lightning, C, jolt, or D, flash? I just want to say, Vernon, I hope you haven't taken anything this, this guy has said to heart. You played a great game, and it was an honor. It is D, flash. And your winner, Jeremy the Atom Adam! That's correct. Very good. How you feeling, Vernon? You feeling good? You feeling good there, Vicky? Oh, oh, Vicky said bye-bye. Okay, well, I guess, yeah, you guys go ahead and uh, turn your cameras off. We'll, uh, we'll interview you in a second. That's what happens, okay? That is what happens when you cross the hammer, okay? Vicky knows now. Vicky knows where he belongs, okay? Yeah, he but knows. but I am but I am curious because I've been a little out of the loop. What did he do to offend you? Yeah, wh what did what did he Did you miss the last two matches? Okay? Caleb and Caleb both were poised to win. I don't know what voodoo Vicky did, okay? But they both lost. They were poised to win, and they both lost. That's, and and Vern, Vicky was happy about it, okay? That, well, that's, that's what he did. Well, you know, everybody's entitled to like who they like and root for who they want to root for. Yeah. You seem remember, to have a fascination with the word Caleb. Hammer is in charge. That's what you got to remember. Well, should we bring them in for interviews? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we got um, the the cow guy has to do the interviews. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, this will go to him. Good luck. Well, I'm here with Brendan. I'm sorry. I I don't know how he was able to to do this this is this is really messed up uh but you you just had a match yeah with no prep mm -hmm. against Jeremy Adams. adams uh it, i wouldn't consider it a match it, it was clearly a blowout as we like to say around here um I, you know, when I signed on to do this, I, I didn't agree to the ridicule and the harassment and the abuse that the hammer is dishing out. Um, I, 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 I don't blame you because clearly you have your own thing going on. But we I, need I, to look at some paperwork. We need to see what's going on in the back office and see what we can do to correct this from happening again. Yeah, look, we've already... First of all, I'm not signing any more contracts that Nikki gives mm. me. That's 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 number one. Okay. Number two, though, I will say his days of being creatively in control are almost over. All right. We just need that championship match to happen. That's that's it. And then I, mean, I can't say that he'll be gone for good, but you know, it's there has to be a way. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. I, I'm 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 trying my best, but I mean, I gotta say, Vernon, you know, you I I, I think you. It wasn't horrible. Oh, it was horrible. Uh, it, you don't have to. You know, everybody likes you know nice flying cow clay. That was horrible, but I don't blame you. Uh, the hammer clearly has an alternative motive here uh, with this season, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. And I promise you, when I do, uh, the hammer, uh, no, no, he will be no more. I, I, I can't blame you. I can't, can't, uh, can't blame you for that. But uh, hopefully, next time we will see you back on the desk where you belong. Um, and, yeah, clearly, uh, I don't belong in the competitor seat. <laughs> I mean, at least not without some prep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but. Um, but good game to Jeremy. Jeremy, you know, showed that he is, you know, the rifle winner here. Yeah. And even if we had gotten to the the final round, uh, third round there, I the game would have still been won by Jeremy. So my hat's off to him, uh, and I look forward to seeing what he's going to do next in the Movie Battles League. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, thanks for, you know, 
We're going to get this figured out, Vernon. We're going to get it figured out. I sure hope so. And here we have today's winner. Um, I mean, not exactly the most conventional of of matches, uh, Jeremy, but uh, how are you feeling? This is... This is your first match in movie battles. You at least got to experience what we're all about. How are you feeling about this going forward? I mean, I, I feel really good. Again, like I said at the beginning, I'm, I'm excited to be playing in this league. Uh, you know, just a little behind the curtain. You know, I'm a, I'm a big movie fan. I, I play in a lot of movie trivia leagues, but it all starts with Disney for me. That was what made me a fan of movies in the very beginning was watching Disney films, um, both live action and animated back in the day. So, uh, you know, it, it, it really means a lot to me to be playing specifically in this trivia. Um, and yeah, it was I, I think Vernon's being a little hard on himself. You know, he, he didn't, he didn't get zero, you know, he got no. some questions, right. You know, and uh, you know, I think maybe there were a couple where if he, he just, you know, not gotten his head, he would have gotten them. So nothing against him. I think that he did a, a perfectly, you know, solid gave me, gave me a solid effort. And uh, yeah, it, it was, they were great questions though. It was, it was a fun match and I'm really excited to be here and uh, to see where we go next. I, you know, I think that, there's obviously some some pretty tough competition in this league and I've, there's some parts of my game I need to work on and, you know, hit the books a little more. Uh, you know, I'm always my toughest, my own toughest critic. So I, you know, even though I guess it was the knockout to in my mind, it was like, you know, I saw some weaknesses there that I'm going to work on, but uh, that, that's what I always do. Every time I join a new league, I kind of see what I got to work on and, and uh, get really excited from there. Cause it, you don't really, you know, get that fire lit until you start playing there. So, right. Yeah. And you know, that's, that's, that's always a great outlook, especially for a competitor who's just starting to, you know, take note of their weaknesses and, you know, shore them up while also beefing up their strengths, you know, never a bad game plan, but I gotta say, um, you know, I'm excited to have you here. Thank you. Excited to, you know, um, you know, have you play some more looking forward to what you are going to do in this league hopefully next time in a little bit more of a conventional match. <laughs> it was fun today though. I, I don't know. I still don't know quite what was going on, but I enjoyed myself, whatever it was. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'm going to turn it back over to uh, the, the fun house over there. Um, <laughs> bye. Well, there you have it. The person who should have won, won. The person who should have lost, got to oh did you have as much fun with that as i did sorsha because i had a lot of you you know it was an entertaining match and vernon played extremely well considering the fact that you just kind of threw him to the fire i mean you know i would say he voluntarily jumped it okay Mm, that's not what i remember do you do you? Well, maybe, maybe you need to go to the doctor because I think your memory's a little hazy. Yeah. A little bit. yeah. Okay. So, uh, that is that. Okay. Everybody now knows. Don't cry. You listen here, you pompous dingle hopper, you. I don't know what kind of shenanigans. I don't know what strings you're pulling. I don't know what you have on the cow. But mark my words, this is not over between you and I, there will be a day of reckoning for you and the hammer will be no more. I can promise this three time movie battles champion of which have never been seen before. No, this is not over. I may have to call matches with you for the rest of the season, but I can promise you this is the last season we will be seeing the hammer around movie battles. That's all I have to say. Good night. Ooh, I'm scared. Well, Dicky scary. You guys heard it here. <laughs> Victorious Vernon. Oh. Has called for reckoning. Yeah. That was uh that 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 was good, Vicky. Uh you should um you should be an actor. Very good. I was convinced. But no, yeah. So yes, we are going to have quite some matches coming up very soon. We will be having 
a triple threat championship match where, of course, Nikki the Nova Baldwin will regain her title that she never should have lost. Um, but until then, uh, you know, all that stuff is here. Um, but uh, we're done. So uh, it's been your pleasure. And uh, bye bye. Mm-hmm.